I'm Andy Parma, Product Marketing Manager, AMD Optimum Processors. I'm joined today by Tim Muting, Product Marketing Manager for AMD Virtualization Solutions and HP's ProLiant DL785 G6 server. Tim, what are we looking at today? Hey Andy, as you mentioned, this is an 8-socket server, the DL785 G6 server. We're running VMware ESX 4.0 on it. What we've got is 180 virtual machines running continuously here on this server, maxing it out. Uh, it's being driven by 30 clients, all driving these virtual machines with support from uh, 336 disk drives, all housing the virtual machines and the data driving it. So you're talking about a pretty massive consolidation project here with 180 virtual machines. How does that 180 virtual machines compare with the capabilities of other servers available today? At, at this point, we can run up to 25% more virtual machines on this particular platform than our competition. How is this HP ProLiant DL785 G6 able to run 25% more virtual machines than, than those other servers that are available? I think the first thing you have to look at is right now, as you mentioned, we're running uh, the, the newer 6-core uh, AMD Opteron 8400 series processors. So we're talking about 48 cores now across 8 sockets. Uh, all of those cores come with AMD virtualization technology, as you know all Opteron systems do. Um, AMD virtualization technology also gives you things like rapid virtualization indexing and mm -hmm. tag TLB, which goes a long ways to helping improve uh, the performance and efficiency of the virtual machines themselves as they're swapping in and out of memory. HP has a full line of products uh, supporting both two socket and four socket using these same uh, processors, the, the six core uh, AMD Opteron processors. So I assume that the, the four socket HP ProLiant DL585 V6 and the four socket blade uh, HP ProLiant BL685C G6. I assume that they're going to have a similar 25% performance advantage over the competition like the, like the 785. Well, actually, what we're seeing now is up to 43% more virtual machines can be housed on the four socket system than our competition, as well as our prior generation uh, ProLiant DL585 G5 series. Okay. Uh, running before. Other than AMD V, what are the other advantages and, and technologies that allow these servers to consolidate so many more virtual machines? I think first of all, as you look, and we've always had a good advantage with the Direct Connect architecture. Okay. So running Direct Connect architecture has always been very good for virtualization. As we talked about earlier, this is the new six-core AMD Optron processors. That that particular uh, processor also has something called HT Assist, which has been proven to help improve performance, particularly for virtualization workloads, and that it reduces the probe traffic and can help improve that efficiency as well. So one last question for you: This this uh, HP DL 785G6 running 180 virtual machines. Is that the typical kind of virtualization application for, for a piece of hardware like this? It's hard to talk typical anymore. As virtualization has, has really grown and taken off, uh, we see customers um, implement things like this where they're, they're running as many virtual machines as possible on a machine. And obviously this is, you know, we've, we've set a record here. This has mm -hmm. come to the point now we're running 180 virtual machines. So it's a large consolidation project. And we're finding customers comfortable with that. We also find customers that are running smaller numbers of virtual machines with heavier workloads as well. So still utilizing the, you know, as much of the processor and the memory capacity of the machine, but running higher, higher density types of applications. Where can customers find out more information about the, the HP ProLiant DL785 G6 and AMD virtualization technology? Good question. You can go to amd.com slash virtualization. We've got all kinds of information on the products, on performance, on features and functions of AMD virtualization. You can also visit us next week at uh, the week of the 31st at VMworld. We'll be in booth 1408. Come by, we'll have this particular demonstration running in the booth, as well as a host of other demonstrations around virtualization as well. So come by, we hope to see you there. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tim, and we'll see you at VMworld.